Welcome everybody to the Inner Sanctum. This is the holiest of places within the Glenrothes distillery itself and it's here that you would come um, if you managed to make it over here to, to Scotland um, and to the Glenrothes distillery. I'm Ronnie Cox and I'm the global ambassador for the Glenrothes whisky. I work for a company called Berry Brothers and Rudd, a 300 year old wine and spirits company who are the owners of Glenrothes whisky here in Scotland. The reason that I'm here is to introduce the Peated Cask Reserve. This is the first time that we've launched it in Australia, but I just really wanted to give you a little bit of a background behind it and why we came up with it. In 1994, we came up with the vintage concept of Glenrothes. This was very different to anybody else in the industry who was always selling single malts and whiskies, indeed, at five-year-old, 12-year-old, 10-year-old, perhaps 15-year-old, even 25-year-olds. Um, age really means nothing, as we know, um, unless it's um, in conjunction with the provenance, i.e. what sort of cask it's been in. Is it, is it a cask that's been in once or twice or even three times? At Glenrothes, we tend to use casks only once or twice, uh, very rarely three times. Uh, because of the fact that you derive very little out of a cask on the third fill. So we will then sell those casks on to other people uh, within the industry. The cask is, is absolutely vital for making great whiskey. Well, that's absolutely true. And the vintage concept was about taking 2% from one particular year, so two casks in a hundred, and then designating them to carry the flag, the Glenrothes flag, and put them in a bottle as a single malt. But these, of course, ran out pretty quickly. So we then had to introduce something which was going to be ongoing and representative, really, of the house style. In deconstructing what was a vintage, then obviously we have the bourbon casks, we have the sherry casks, and then in between we have um, something that we call vintage reserve, which is a combination of both the bourbon cask reserve and the sherry cask reserve. But yet, if we go back, hundred years, we will find that nearly every whisky in Scotland, every malt whisky, was producing uh, flavours that had a lot of smoke in them. The English palate, used to drinking whiskies before dinner, would insist on having whiskies which were clean of smoke. So whiskies that did not use peated barley uh, became very much in demand, and Glenrothes was one of those simply on the basis that if you drink a smoky whiskey before dinner, the smoke is retained on the palate so that any of the fine wines that you drink thereafter will be tainted slightly with that smoke. However, I thought it would be a great idea to go back a hundred years to see what Glenrothes would have been like with a touch of smoke in it. Obviously, maintaining the character of the distillery but giving it a personality which we haven't seen at Glenrothes for over a hundred years and you're just about to taste. So taking casks from actually Isla uh, on the west coast of Scotland, obviously emptied of whiskey, but still retaining in the wood a certain degree of that peaty um, flavour, we finished the 1992 vintage or some of the casks of 1992 vintage in these casks. And this is the result. First time, I think, that it's being tried in, in Australia. Certainly it's the first shipment of peated cask reserve that we shipped to Australia. And I'm sure you will have the most fantastic evening. I am going to switch off now. I'm going to switch on my ACDC uh, back is black. And I'm going to charge my glass a little further um, with some more peated cask reserve. To your very good health. <laughs>